What is going on YouTube Black Bigelow, Male Gigolo, here today with another video. So listen, listen, I know I got some subscribers out there uh, that run the gamut, men, women, old, young. And a lot of times I like to come on this channel and tell the truth. I like to speak the uh, word of gospel, uh, if you will. So I got a list of, of signs that you might be a scumbag. You might be a scumbag. It's not guaranteed that you are a scumbag, but if you fall into these categories, you might be a scumbag. Some of these people that that, uh, that will be in this uh, realm of scumbaggery, uh, some of these people are my subscribers. Some of them are my friends in the real world. And hey, listen, I'm just saying, don't take offense. You just, it might, you know, apply to you. And I'm just saying, you know, chill out and, and chill out, okay? You know, hey, just chill out. Okay, these are signs that you might be a scumbag. Okay, just random thoughts from me from the van, right? Uh, people who thumbs down my videos, they might be a scumbag. Uh, you're six months behind on your child support. Now, again, you may not definitely be a scumbag, but if you're six months behind in your child support, you're, you're probably a scumbag, but maybe you were dealt a raw hand and uh, the court got you and you couldn't afford it, but you might be a scumbag. Uh, your car is in repo status. Hey, gotta pay your car note, might be a scumbag. People who don't put the shopping carts back in the shopping cart corral at the supermarket, yeah, if you don't put that soup, that shopping cart in the corral, you're, I'm gonna say you're definitely a scumbag, yeah. Uh, people who use the urinal or the toilet without flushing or washing your hands, if you do any of those, uh, in my opinion, you're a fucking scumbag. Uh, anybody who pretty much drives a Mustang is a scumbag. Now, you know, if you drive an older Mustang and it's not super loud, okay, you might be a scumbag, but if you're driving one of those newer Mustangs and they have those ridiculously loud exhausts, which I feel should be made illegal, uh, yeah, you're a total fucking scumbag. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think you should be arrested and beaten. Uh, ah, this is a good one. If you dress your children in clothes and any of those clothes has holes in them, you're a fucking scumbag. Hey, just saying it the way it is. I don't care about you or your clothes. You can dress in whatever sloppy way you want. But those little babies, okay, you are preparing those children for the world and to be successful in this world, okay? And a, and a little seven-year-old boy is not going to be a success if he has a fucking hole in his shirt and you don't care that he's walking around outside your house with holes in his clothes. Get your shit together, parents. Oh, and this is uh, has something to do with that. Uh, buying a car seat and or a stroller from a thrift store. We've talked about that in a previous video. I think that if you buy your kids a stroller or a car seat from a thrift store, you are a fucking scumbag. Shut the fuck up. Take the $75, go to Walmart and go buy a brand new one. Don't be a scumbag. That baby is three months old. You don't need to give that baby some disgusting car seat that's been pissed in, shitted in, and threw up in. Be a parent, go to Walmart, 75 fucking dollars. There's no fucking excuse. Apostrophe names. If you put an apostrophe in your child's name, you're a scumbag. That's all there is to it. Uh, people that go shopping at supermarkets and let's say they get something that's a refrigerated item or a frozen item and maybe you change your mind, you don't want it anymore and you just put it like in, in the canned goods section where it's not refrigerated. Yeah, you're a fucking scumbag. If you get meat and you don't put it back, you're a scumbag. Do yourself a favor. Just put it back where it goes. Don't be a piece of shit. People that own cats but only feed them dry food, you're a fucking scumbag. Okay, what if I only fed you crackers? Would you like that? Oh, hey, would you like some more Ritz crackers? That's all I'm feeding you. No, you don't like that, huh? Feed your cat some chicken. Don't be a scumbag. Uh, this next couple of ones, these are for, uh, I, got, I got some subscribers that are younger kids. They're still in high school. You know what I mean? They look up to me. They, they wish that I was their dad. Uh, you know, like a, like a father figure in their lives. Uh, if, if you're in high school and you don't try to sleep with one of your hot teachers, and this goes for girls and guys, you're a fucking scumbag, okay? If you got a hot ass sexy teacher, you should be trying your best to get them in the sack. Uh, if you see 
one of your classmates uh, being made fun of in class. Everyone's clowning on him because he's dressed like a weirdo or he has a fucked up haircut. And you don't pile in on him making fun of him or her. You're a scumbag. You got to do your best job to bully the shit out of that kid so they can jump off the water tower later up that afternoon. Uh, oh, here, here's a good one. Blowing your nose in public. Sorry, chef. If you blow your nose in public, you're fucking scum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, man. But Jesus Christ, uh, you should get executed. If you blow your fucking nose in public, you should be that. That should be the death penalty right there. I, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. That's it. That, go into the bathroom and go blow your nose. That's a, no. What is this? 1943. Hey, I'm gonna go blow my nose. Ugh, come on. What's wrong with you? This is this one is a little bit of an insensitive uh, uh, topic right here, but we're gonna talk about you know and so, one of these days you know some of us might have to you know go through this uncomfortable subject, this uncomfortable thing, and that's incontinence. You know, like when you get older, you really can't hold your bowels the way you could when you were a younger person. Some of us are gonna have to start wearing diapers, okay, kids? Uh, but let, let me let me explain this to you. Uh, now, you're not a scumbag if you have to wear diapers, but if you're walking around in public with a load in your pants and you're not going home to change your diapers, you're a fucking scumbag. Hey, 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 Ray, did you poop? Okay, go home and change your diapers. Don't walk around Home Depot thinking that nobody can smell it and everything is okay. That's, that's nasty. Go home, take a shower, handle your business. Uh, people who vape now vaping has prevented people from smoking so I'm I'm assuming it's healthier than cigarette smoke now I'm not talking about people who regularly vape I'm talking about the scumbags who blow these enormous clouds of toxic vape smoke looking like they're puff the magic dragon yeah they're fucking scum just stop just stop you're, you're gross uh, people who take too long at the drive thru this drives me crazy, being that a lot of times I go to the drive-thru to get my coffee, blah, blah, blah. Um, let me get a, uh, let me, hey, can you hurry the fuck up, okay? Is this your first time that you've ever been to Hardee's or McDonald's? You don't know what they sell, huh? It's like, get your shit together. You should already know what you're going to order before you can go to the drive-thru. Hurry the fuck up. Uh, fat people. Now, I'm not saying that if you're fat, you're a scumbag, okay? I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is that if you are fat, you should be trying to do something about it. And if you're not trying to do anything about it, and it's not some kind of a medical problem, and you're just fat like me, you're a scumbag. See, I'm, I'm, I'm a scumbag, I'm fat. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not doing anything about it. Uh, okay, here's a good one. Uh, people who shop at Rena Center, of course, uh, I did a vlog about this. Uh, if you shop at Rena Center, you're probably a scumbag. You know what I mean? Now, you don't. Oh, they're poor. <laughs> okay, all because you're poor, that doesn't mean you have to go buy a 60-inch flat-screen television that would cost 490 bucks at Walmart, and you're going to Rena Center, and it's only you know 29 dollars a, a, a week. That shit adds up. You're gonna end up paying three or four times more what that TV is worth. How about you do this? If you can't afford the flat screen television, just go ahead, man. Just get a uh, just get a 20 inch flat screen television. Just build your bank up, build, build your cash up. This guy's a scumbag too. Oh yeah, these guys, the racing guys, the motorcycle guys, yeah, all scumbags, all scumbags. Yeah, build your credit up first, and uh, there you go. And the last one. This is somewhat not a, not a real se sensitive subject, but if you have a prepaid credit card, but you're over the age of 30, you're probably a scumbag. You know, now we've all made mistakes. That's how I that's how I rebuilt my credit. I had to get a prepaid credit card, but I got one when I was 26. Okay, I wasn't 30 years old. Um, I got the prepaid credit card made a couple payments, and the rest is history. Anyways, guys, what do you think? Uh, I know some of you guys watching my videos right now, this applied to some of you out there. Hey, don't get mad at me. I'm simply the messenger. You're the scumbag. But hey, I'm a scumbag too, because one of the things applied to myself. Anyways, guys, love and peace. I'll catch up with you later. Peace out.